So yeah, as a quick recap then. So what, I mean, I have a few points to add, but just wanted to recap what we've covered in terms of creating a checklist is we started off with sitting, pausing, reflecting, writing down and thinking about your priorities. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, we talked about how, uh, you know, there are certain qualities of a routine, which is number one, you need to make it personal. You need a certain skill set and you need that motivation. So you need to have that great drive, determination for that. Maybe you want to rope in a friend, a confidant, you want a public announcement, whatever works for you. Thereafter, I also recommend some form of journaling or typing mm -hmm. or whatever works for you. So some kind of a to-do list, either you write it yourself or you create one online, uh, you know, if you're more comfortable with uh, typing on your comp or on your phone, whatever it may be. But but making a list out of it and you know, actually having a, a routine which is written is a reminder to you that I have to follow this. So it's some way or the other you want it tucked away, if not in the foreground, you know, stuck on a wall or something like that. Somewhere on your phone where it's a constant reminder that this is my morning routine or this is my night routine or this is my success routine or yeah, whatever you want to name it. Thereafter, one thing that I really like to enforce where routines is concerned is that make sure that you're flexible with the time but rigorous with the implementation. Flexible with the time, but rigorous with the implementation. Okay. So, for example, if you go to gym, you are not going to go to the gym. You are not going to go to the gym. Showing up, actually making sure that you did what was on your routine mm -hmm. is important for its eventual success. So, don't really cut yourself you know, too much yeah. uh, grief if you feel that I couldn't put in as much as I wanted to or the time that I had allocated. I could only manage to remove so much time. That's okay. Implement it and be flexible a little bit based on your circumstances where time is concerned. Mm, and one of our callers mentioned this, right? Okay, we have to stop being so hard on ourselves. Uh, if we are not able to fulfill our routine, and like you said, that oh, 60 minute versus 30 minutes of exercising. Yeah, yeah, she did, definitely. Another thing that I feel is also, uh, you know, follow the routine even if you get successful with it. That's so important. Follow the routine even if you get successful with it. Maybe you have a habit. You get up, you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. You know, that's it. That's a habit for you. So, for example, if I'm training, I'm doing a routine. 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 I'm all of that. Mm -hmm. Now, if I get really successful with training and I feel, oh, I don't need it anymore. I know what I'm doing. I have noticed that the time when I don't practice my routine, I'm not as effective as I am when I do. Okay. So that really reinforces the fact and the importance of sticking to your rhythm, sticking mm -hmm. to that successful routine that you have for yourself, rather than saying or thinking that now I've got the hang of it. I don't need a routine anymore. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's a very important aspect, which then links itself to the next point that I want to make is make stuff happen continuously. If you take the example of Captain Sully, I forget his real name, but you remember the movie Sully? Mm -hmm. In which, you know, yeah, the knowledge. Hudson River incident yeah. where he, you know, kind of managed to salvage the entire crew, the A320, which could have otherwise gone down. Mm -hmm. You know, in an interview I had read where he said that we do these safety checks as a routine. 9,450 times he had already done it in his wow. life. Wow. Now, if it had become, and nothing had happened. Everything was fine. Now, mm -hmm. if he had not done that routine check mm -hmm. 9,450 first time, mm -hmm. perhaps that aircraft wouldn't have been saved. Yeah. But because he did, he followed that routine. He did it again and again and again. That's when, you know, magic happens. That's when, you know, history is made in that sense. Mm. So, That's so important to follow that routine. And in the end, I just like to say that trust the process, you know, it's mm -hmm. so important. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the results come quickly, sometimes not so quickly, but it's really important to at least you know, on an average, I would say, give it six to nine months of a routine. Don't like just do it a week, two weeks and say, it's not gonna work for me. Mm 
mm-hmm. you know, minimum to minimum three to four months and uh, a good amount of recommended time that I would say is six months at least. Stick with the routine to know whether it's working for you or not. Of course, if the results are absolutely apparent, then it's not. But uh, if you're confused on it, then give it some time. 